welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a bit of an arts and crafts video where I make Josh's Valentine's Day present. So it's currently Valentine's Day at the time of filming this and I have not made it yet. So I'm gonna crack on with it now and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'm currently sat in my car in a car park as you can see I have come to our local retail park because tomorrow for me is Valentine's Day it's Friday tomorrow and I decided to make Josh a little scrapbook of all our like photos I've ordered photos and they came yesterday and I've dug out all of like our train tickets and like really cute memory stuff like that and I wanted to get him something small but we said we weren't going to get each other anything so I thought this is a perfect thing to say how much I love you and thank you for everything you do for me whilst not spending too much money so I'm going to go into the range now and really hoping they have scrapbooks because i'm leaving it a little bit on the late side to sort all of this out if not there is b&m here and wilco so i'm really really hoping that one of them has an affordable-ish scrapbook so wish me luck i'm probably not going to film in there because honestly i've worn really loose leggings today and i'm feeling very self-conscious and i really feel like people are going to be looking at me for my loose baggy leggings and i can't deal with them looking at a camera as well so i will see you once i have achieved the scrapbook right scrapbook achieved i literally went into the range and bought the first first one i saw but i thought it's not too girly because a lot of the scrapbooks were quite girly and i thought this is still quite boyish but i really like the little bow effect so i'm, I'm making excuses but it literally was the first one i saw but it's perfect it's got 40 sheets so i'm hoping what i didn't want was to completely fill it but also have loads of spare paper because i think it looks a bit naff so although i want to keep filling it obviously with more and more memories i didn't want it to be massive so yeah, um, it is now Valentine's Day. As you can tell, I'm wearing a different outfit. I do have a top on, I would like to say. It just is not showing like it. Um, but yeah, it's Valentine's Day. So I really need to like get a wiggle on with making this. So I've pulled together all of the things I want to put in it. So I will show you that now. And then I'm going to get to making. Quickly, I also picked up some double-sided skinny tape. Um, they were selling by the scrapbook bit, this tape for like special... Um, photo corner tape for like 2 99 or something ridiculous and this was a pound and it's double-sided tape and I thought this will this will do the job so we're gonna use this stop trying to rip me off the range right so I'm going I've got all the stuff here and I'm gonna spread it out all over the bed and sort of get an order of where I want things and how I want things to go so I'm gonna do that now So to plan it all out, I don't think it's going to work. So I think I'm literally just going to have to start getting the scrapbook, seeing what works well, seeing what can fit well, because I ordered like 40 photos, I think, and it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Right, I'm sat at my craft desk. It's not actually, it's like my little makeup table. Um, but I thought I'd sit here. So I've got my scrapbook. I've got my double-sided tape. I have actually no idea how to even use double-sided tape. Maybe I should figure that out first. Right, let's have a little trial bit. I feel like there's just a bit that you peel off the back, right? Oh, flipping heck. I should have worked this out first, shouldn't I? I should have paid that 2 99 Right. Do you stick it down first? Ah, right. Got it. That's going to take me hours. <sighs> Don't call me last minute. Lucy for nothing. Right, gonna crack on. I'm gonna sort of tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna speed it all up and I'll talk through any important bits, I think, but otherwise I need to crack on. So, gonna do that now. Let's tilt you down. use the double-sided tape so, <laughs> this is probably really self-explanatory for everyone but you cut off a piece you stick it down first sticking it on the corners and it peels off so easily I bet everyone knew that but for craft newbies like me that's a game-changer because I thought I was gonna be here for oh god it is sticky 
I thought I was going to be here for hours. Right, I've got to try and place this in the centre now. I'm just going a bit bold. Josh won't mind. First one's down! Yay! Is it pretty stuck on? Yeah. This was the first photo that I'm pretty sure me and Josh ever had together um, when I lived in Basingstoke and he came to visit me and we weren't even boyfriend and girlfriend yet, he hadn't asked me, so it's so cute. <laughs> sorry for the wobble so alongside that picture I thought um, I've got loads of train tickets from the first time we saw like went to see each other from Basingstoke and stuff like that so I'm gonna put these <laughs> done about three pages no how many have I done let me show you what I've got so far I've planned out the next lot so I've got the front page where I just stuck a really cute um, picture of us from a photo booth then the second page we've got the train tickets and our first picture together and then two random pictures then we've got sort of like a gigs page so photos from that was when we went to see John Mayer, that was Fickle Friends, that was Fickle Friends, and then I'm gonna do another random. So I'm sort of doing pictures of us, an event, pictures of us, an event. And hopefully, I actually think I might nearly fill it. Oh my God, I've got so many of these that I need to put these all in the bin and have a bit of a um, tidy up because these are from the double-sided tape. But it's going well. I've developed a new double-sided tape technique, which I will show you in a minute when I get back to it, because I didn't find the little just doing corners was sticking enough. So yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch because I'm starving and then we're gonna get back to it. And I'm genuinely worried it's not gonna get done in time. And I know it will, but I had other plans for today and they're all gonna have to be scrapped just so I can do this. Shouldn't have left it till Valentine's Day. Don't do what I do, do it before. Do your prep. <laughs> So it is a little bit later now and um, I really apologise if you can hear the washing machine. I really needed to get a wash done that I forgot about and I desperately need um, a t-shirt for tomorrow so I've managed to get a wash on and we're now back to the scrapbooking. So I'm going to tilt you back down and show you where I was and I think I was going to show you my new double sided tape technique and then I've really got to crack on because it is four o'clock. Josh gets home in four and a half hours. I mean, I really hope this doesn't take me four and a half hours, but I've got other things I need to do. And I want to set it up all cute, and I'm going to try and film his reaction. I don't know how he, he's A, going to feel about that, because obviously I can't ask him beforehand. Um, so I'll probably have to show him the footage, and like whether I'm going to be able to put the camera anywhere, I just don't know. So if I don't film his reaction, I'm really sorry, but I am going to try to. Right, back to the scrapbook. So I think I'd plan this page out roll up my sleeves a bit. So the new technique is that I put it all the way across because before I was just doing the corners and I was cutting it off first. So now I'm sticking it down and doing it across the whole length rather than just sticking the corners because I find it sticks down a lot better. The rest of the bits are a bit flappy and I want them to be nice and secure. So yeah, that's basically it and I will probably just crack on and speed this bit up, so I'll see you when I get to an exciting bit. In a conundrum, guys. Not that you'll be able to answer me because this video had already gone up, but basically... We've got like two pictures from the same day, but I liked both of them, so I printed them both off. And then again, these two. And I don't know whether to have them together on a page or 
I think I'm kind of liking mixing it up like that. I don't know if you can see it. I think that's what I'm going to go for. You're probably all saying do the other way, but this is what this is what I'm going to go for. This is what this is it. Let's stick these down. That's what it ended up looking like. It's fine, I think. I like how I did it. I like that option. I'm gonna keep going now. I don't know what to do. I've done two normal pages. So I think I might do a special page of some of our moving in cards. So this is our first home. And although we're renting, like I've, I've kept a lot of the new home cards and I've got a sort of picture from when we first moved in it's kind of not but it's all I've, I've got really so I might try and organize these now so I think I've got one smallish card here with a photo and then these two cards we don't really I feel like we don't really need to read them or who they're from so I'm gonna take them both down over each other like this I've got another one but again I feel like this is enough to commemorate our first time think I'm such a hoarder when it comes to memories honestly I'm so bad at throwing things out and not keeping things but I think this will do I think this will do the plan was to show you all the pages once it's done but I'm really proud of how this has turned out I'll show you I just think that looks really really nice so I've been doing this for an hour and I'm losing my mind but I really wanted to show you this page can you see it so, um, let me try and get it a bit closer. So when we came back from a holiday with my family last August, um, it was my birthday while we were out there and Josh was like, you've got a present when you get home because I couldn't bring it with us. And I was like, oh God, how big is this thing? Um, because for his birthday, I got him this desk. So I genuinely couldn't pack that because we went to Disneyland Paris, but anyway. So he was like, you need to stay in the bedroom um, and I've got to prepare it. So I was like, what on earth is this present? So I come out and there, uh, I can't, I think there were post-it notes. We've got this big um, Laurel and Hardy print in our living room, the one from Friends, and there were post-it notes on it. And so I had to like take the clue and go and find the next post-it note and stuff like that. I can't quite remember. I'm really sad that I can't remember how it worked, but basically um, I would go read the clue and get the matching post-it note and put it back up. And so what it actually forms, I can show you a bit better now is this is the park maps um sort of like how walt disney world is laid out and these were also this was animal kingdom this was magic kingdom i actually don't know i can't remember what that one is um that's obviously a water park i think that was epcot and I, again i've uh blizzard beach so i have no idea what holly in a log is Holly log. <laughs> I have no idea, but basically they are um, the Disney parks. And so he surprised me with a trip to Walt Disney World, which we're going in April. And I mention it all the time because I'm so excited. But basically that was that. And so it's a really special page. And he mentioned it the other day and was like, oh, I remember when I did that. And I'm like, oh, I do remember because I'm putting it all in your scrapbook. But it's been driving him mad. So he keeps texting me like, what are you doing? And I'm like, things. And today he was like, oh, can you go and do this? I was like, I really don't have time today. He's like, why, what are you doing? I was like, things. He's like, oh, I don't want anything for Valentine's Day, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, you're getting something. So he thinks I'm like decorating the whole flat. And he was really mad about it. And I was like, I promise you, I'm not decorating the flat. Please stop poking and asking questions because I need to make this for you. So be quiet. Um, I'm nearly done, I think. Within the next hour, I should be done with this. And then I'll probably do like a montage flip through of it. And then I'm done for the evening until he comes home. And I stupidly agreed to cook dinner. Things I do for this boy. Disaster. My double sided tape has run out. Oh. <laughs> so I'm having to resort to normal tape. So annoying. I'm so tempted to go to the shop and get another roll, but 
at the same time. I just want this to be over now. <laughs> so I'm going to wing it and do the... I can't even get the end up. Josh's special talent is actually finding the ends of tape. What I'm going to do is cut some really skinny bits of this tape and we'll go from there. I've got a variety of washi tape. Right, these are the two options for now. I'm going to go with this one because this is a little Christmas pick. So I'll show you what I've done. Let's pan you down. So I'm not sure that you'll be able to see, but basically I have put four bits of sellotape just on the outside of the Polaroid. That was our first Christmas tree. And then, actually I should use both. I'm just going to cover it with some washi tape so it looks more scrapbooky. So I'm going to do opposites and then we'll add the blue one maybe. Okay, so it looks a bit more scrapbooky now. You can see. I'm going to carry on with my dodgy tape method. I'm done. The scrapbook is done. It is now. 10 to 6. I started this at like 11. Obviously I had a bit of a break in between but I've been going for nearly two hours now solidly and I feel like all the life, this, has sucked all of the life out of me but I'm gonna show you now what it all looks like so I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of it. I thought I would talk through some of the things that I've done. So as you can see, I've kind of throughout the whole thing added just like little bits of washi tape. Um, just to, it helped, the washi tape helped with the normal seller tape, but just to kind of make it look a bit more scrapbooky rather than just a photo album. I haven't gone crazy like on this page. I've added like a little bit here and here and this one, but these two photos I've left blank and like here I've just added bits at the top and like some just like random bits and bobs about because I didn't want it to be too uh too washi tape everywhere this one there was like a little bit of sparkle in this card so I added a little bit of sparkle there sorry the lighting's not good it is so dark I put the flash on on my phone to try and make it lighter but yeah I hope you enjoyed um and I'm gonna go and prepare this for Josh so that is the end of the video. I'm sorry for the lighting. It is really dark outside now. I've got like a little flash torch down here and the angle isn't great, I know, but I am so, I put my heart and soul into this scrapbook and it's made me actually really emotional looking through it and it's kind of also a present for me. So sorry, Josh, I kind of fibbed uh, as for both of us, but it just is such a special thing to have and I really recommend. It's, it's such a good gift to give somebody because you don't have to spend very much and it just is so precious and I think obviously we'll keep this forever because it's all of our photos. I will say the app I use to print all of our photos because these all were on my phone was called Free Prints. This is in no way sponsored or associated with that company. I literally typed in photo printing on the app store and it was the first one that came up and you just pay for shipping and the photos came out such good quality I really would recommend it um I've used some a couple of years ago when I was at uni to like have quirky pictures on my wall and they never came out that great and this these look like genuinely we've taken them on a camera so I really would recommend free prints you get a certain amount of free prints each month and then you have to pay for them but I think it's like 40 or something crazy and I would never need more than that in a month so I'm really really happy with that app 
Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm in no way affiliated with the app. I literally just downloaded the first one that I came across, but I'm really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.